and um, glucose has hydrogen that has a proton and an electron. Okay? One there and one there. In fact, they have more than those two, right? They have a whole bunch, right? They have a bunch of hydrogens, and those are the ones that we're going to be removing and taking those electrons and using them to power the electron transport chain. So, um, we also have uh, Jorge, who is um, dehydrogenase, and dehydrogenase is going to be the enzyme that's removing these hydrogens. We have Ryan, who is NAD+, and he's going to actually turn into NADH if everything goes well. <laughs> and then we have Stephanie and Kate, who are our electron transport chain, and they're sitting in the mitochondria. So where are these guys? Cytoplasm. Cytoplasm, mitochondria, and what part of the mitochondria are they in? They're, they're in the inner membrane. So this is the inner membrane, that's the matrix down there, and this is the intermembrane space. And then finally, we have Carrie over here, who's ATP synthase. Oh, and this is a very important, this is the final electron receptor. What is it? Oxygen, very good. And this is what we need to put back together. ADP and PI, very good, okay. So, now I think we're ready to start our drama. Okay, so now what happens is we have dehydrogenase comes along and up to glucose and removes what? How many? Two. two. Removes two hydrogen ions. Oh, just the electrons? No. no. Okay, very good. Removes the hydrogen ions, the protons, and the electrons. And dehydrogenase hydrogenase then goes and donates these to NAD+. Okay, good. So you put a hydrogen ion and its electron, and then, oh, hmm, what is he going to do with that? What? This is the nitrogen. What needs to go on the nitrogen? An electron. Just an electron or the proton too? Electron. Just the electron. Exactly. Okay. He has now been correctly changed. And what happens to that hydrogen that dehydrogenase is holding? Gets released into the cytoplasm. And it, is, it makes the cytoplasm more what? Acidic or basic? Acidic. Acidic, that's right. Okay, so now we have NIGH and it has a long way to travel. It has to go over to the mitochondrion. Enters the mitochondrion and actually come over here so they can see you. And um, the first member of the electron transport chain has a high affinity for his electrons. <laughs> okay, and when this member of the electron transport chain gets some electrons, what do they do? Pass it down. What do they do with the uh, hydrogen ions? They pump them where? Okay, up into the intermembrane space, and they pass their electron on, and this one, and then they get another electron on. Okay, very good. Pumping. Okay, great. Okay, and now, what happens to the electrons that end up in the last chain? Where do they go? Oxygen. Oxygen. Okay, those electrons go to oxygen, and then what do they combine with? Hydrogens <laughs> to form water. Okay, very good. So we have electrons that started all the way over there, came all the way in here, and they're at the end of the electron transport chain. We generated a hydrogen ion gradient, and but we still haven't made any ATP. So now we need ATP synthase. That there's these um, hydrogen ions. Are they going to be pumped by the ATP synthase? No, they're going to do what? They're going to fall down their hydrogen ion gradient. Very good. And then that allows the energy to have a, uh, the PI mash back into, right? This is a, it takes a lot of energy to do this, right? Because 
This is a really highly electronegative atom, um, and it's our molecule, and it's being um, pushed into this space where there's other electronegative ones, and then you get a nice <laughs> um, energized molecule, which is our ATP, and now what can we do? Cellular work. Okay, so that, let's review this process. I see a problem. I hadn't noticed it. What is the problem with NADH? Has he been regenerated to NAD plus? No. no. Why? What's what's wrong? He still has a hydrogen. Okay, and that goes very good. So now he's regenerated, and so now let's start this process. Last time we only did it once, and everybody said we should have run through it twice. So we're going to try it twice, and now we're just going to do it. Now the player. Oops. Now the players are going to do it. Okay, so let cellular respiration begin. <laughs> 